Well, I am honored to introduce today's guest. Lolly Daskal is the founder of Lead From Within, a global leadership, executive coaching, and business consulting firm based in New York City. With more than three decades of experience with some of the world's largest and most experienced companies, she is one of today's most sought after executive coaches and consultants around the world. She's written thousands of articles and columns for a variety of media, including Harvard Business Review, Fast Company, Huffington Post, Psychology Today, and the list is endless, as they say. Her new book is titled The Leadership Gap, What Gets Between You and Your Greatness, and it will be published by Penguin Portfolio the end of this month. In it, she presents a remarkably powerful system she uses to help top executives harness the virtues of their leadership style. I have read it, and I will tell you what's in it can transform you. If you like what you hear today, you'll want to go deeper and buy that book. And you can visit www.theleadershipgapbook.com to learn how to do that. That's leadership, theleadershipgapbook.com, and you can learn more about that book. With that introduction, welcome Lolly to the executive stage. They are all yours. What is the imposter? The imposter is the imposter syndrome, which I have found in my research that 99.1% of high achieving individuals suffer from the imposter syndrome. The imposter syndrome is where you feel like a fraud, where you feel you're not smart enough or you're not good enough. And very smart people find themselves in this position very often. But feeling like an imposter and having self-doubt can sabotage your leadership. And sometimes we don't even realize it. So it's very important that we learn to leverage the imposter who has self-doubt. And we can do that in three significant ways. Number one, we have to stop comparing ourselves to others because there always will be someone smarter and better and brighter than we are. And if we keep comparing ourselves to others, it's a lose-lose situation. In order to have a win-win situation in your leadership, stop comparing yourself to others and only compare yourself to yourself. Ask yourself, what can I do today that is better than it was yesterday? What could I do tomorrow that was better than today? Always constantly be measuring against yourself and stop worrying about what other people are doing because that's a waste of time. The second thing is to remind yourself there's no such thing as perfect. Perfect is not real. It doesn't exist. And if you're striving for it, you're planning to fail. Number three, master your skills. Work on always staying ahead of your game and become the kind of leader that is always learning, always striving, always developing, and always growing. To become a great leader, it doesn't mean that we becoming a great leader doesn't mean being perfect. It means we live with our imperfections. So how do we tap into the rebel who is confident? We can do that by asking ourselves three daily questions. What is getting in the way of my confidence? What, why, when do I feel like an imposter? And what can I do to master my skills? It is so important to become the rebel within and to tap into our confidence and our competence. Why? Because greatness lies within you.